G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday Hour of Install. Now this week, we're back on the mighty chimney. Now as you can see, that one's not the jelly roll. That's the jelly roll over there. See that, look at that beautiful specimen. But you're obviously here because you want to see how you install our version of the Jimny bash plate or protection plate for the front here. Okay, so it's a very, very easy install. First thing you must do is go to your fridge and grab your guilty pleasure. Now for me, that's beer. For you, that could be wine, whiskey, rum, beer, water, I guess. Whatever you like, but in this case, you must do it. Because it's a pirate ritual. Now if you don't do it, what's gonna happen is you have a really bad install. Pretty much gonna bring you bad luck. So, cheers legends on that note. It's, um, and this week I'm on the Pirate Life South Coast Pale Ale, mainly because I ran out of the um, Spangled Drongo beers. They're actually really good. I was meant to order them for the Sydney show, didn't. Didn't pick any up, so I went through too early. It's a week and a half later, still haven't ordered them. I don't know what I'm doing, but anyways. So this one's very easy today. First thing we need to do is Shut the mechanics up over there. First thing we need to do, now that they're back from Smoko, is we're gonna reuse these mounts here, our um, sway bar mounts. So we're gonna pull them off and slot this one in. So you're gonna need a 12 mil for that. 12 mil socket. And we're gonna go lefty loosey. So you see under here, this is your sway bar here, if you don't know what your sway bar is. That's your sway bar. You see here's a mount here, and there's a mount there. Now the next thing to do is, please hold L, because I need to remember which way these go. I think those point out. That one points out. Ah, oh, perfect. So we'll do that first. We'll undo this one, I'll show you how to figure out which one's which. Now you see here, I'm on a five door, so if you've got a five door, you will know that they've got this weird yellow sh painted everywhere on it. No idea why. But it, it looks disgusting. Now I'm gonna put these in my pocket so I don't lose them. I'm gonna loosen these ones which will allow me to drop down this a little bit and get my bits and pieces in that I need to get in so I don't drop it everywhere. So, now these are your brackets. So gonna... <laughs> At a moment then. So these are your brackets that are going to go on in here, right? So what you need to look here is, if I put this one on, so these, these bits here have got to point out. So this one, I put it on there, it's pointing in. So that means this one goes this side here. And you'll see I've got two holes like that, and one bit there. So these two holes actually line up under there, and then this piece here goes up in this hole there. So if you look real closely, I'm gonna pull more of that off, hang on. Might have to undo it all the way. Thunk. I knew that would happen, but anyways. I got dunked in the head. So I get dunked in the head. So easier now. You see here, this is where it was sitting. That goes on like that. And see how it's pointing out with this leading edge here? Can you get that? That's pointing out. So that's the number one thing here. So now it's this side. If you're like this, it's pointing in, no good, not gonna work. So you wanna be this one here. Now I need to wrangle this back around and fight him. No, he's not really that bad. It's got links in it, and oh, got my finger, got my finger, and then I can go and do it like this. Look at that, got him started. Next one's in this pocket. And again, same thing. Put this bolt back in. If you can. Right, I say. Next step here is basically. Same again on this side, we're gonna slot this one in. Back into the existing holes. There we go. You see the sway bar moved nice and easy because it's on these links down here. So it allows it to move in quite a few directions. Other bolts here in my hand. Put that one in as well. That one's in two. Now next step is, you'll see you've got these bolts in the pack. Them ones there. So those ones actually go up here and they drop down through that one there. So, like everything, it stays loose until we get all the bolts in. Okay, so on this side, on the driver's side, we're gonna go from the bottom up. 
because the radiator hose is in the way. I don't remember that in the other one. I don't remember it being in the way, but anyways, that's fine. We'll go from the bottom up, it doesn't really matter. So, all right, that one's in there. Next one, same deal again. So this one we should be able to drop in from the top, which we can. So your bolts won't be this long, this is just all we have here right now. Now, next step here is to tighten these up. So you need a 13 mil for that. And you remember to go change it back to righty tidy. A 13 mil will tighten up this one. Oh my God. I'm not gonna go all the way because I'll get these other bolts seated as well. Put our 12 mil back on. We'll tighten up the sway bar mounts. And done again. We'll do it on by hand. Cool. We'll grab ourselves a 12 mil spanner. One right there. Team, have a good weekend. Yeah. We've got this bad boy here. So tight in this area. Ah, oh, one there. We come to this side here. Look at everyone getting a knock off Al. Going home early on a Friday. Not us. Yeah. Ah, that one's done. Yeah, see this? I come prepared. So you know, most people when they're trying to install these products, they're like, ah, oh, I dropped the nut, ah, oh, I dropped two then to be fair. I dropped the nut and they're like, oh, I can't find it, I've got no more, not me. I've got like almost an unlimited supply. So I just sneak back here and grab more and be like, oh look, I found an extra one. <laughs> so this, putting this on is pretty self-explanatory. Hole there, hole there, hole there, hole there. Hole, 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 hole. Skull, you're obviously not gonna put it on that way, skull's upside down. Ta-da, pretty easy, so. We're gonna grab ourselves a couple of bolts and nuts and we ain't gotta work. Put that one in there and we're going to put a nut on him. Now, if you don't have a hoist, sucks to be you, <laughs> you're probably lying on an exposed aggregate driveway. That also sucks right now because I don't want to be doing that neither, because I remember them days. But if you are lying on an exposed aggregate driveway, just go and grab a couple of towels and lie on them. But I did see the other day, it's super cheap. So super cheap's got this, there was this little mat there. It was like, maybe like 15 mil. It was like covered, I think it was like a red like vinyl leather thing with a bit of foam in it. And it was like 30 bucks, I think. And it was just like a, almost like a roller trolley thing. That wasn't even that, I think it was like 15 bucks. Anyways, it was mint because you just throw it out and you're supposed to aggregate and ah, pretty much have a sleep on it, get a pillow. <laughs> Job done, having a sleep. A new watch, we're going to go back and watch this and it's not going to be super cheap. Anyways, we'll pretend it was super cheap. Could have been Bunnings, could have been Repco. Bursons. Bursons, <laughs> could have been Bursons. Could have been Botcher Race Parts for all I know. It was one of them. Did I buy it? No, because I could have hoist. And no, actually. I didn't buy it because I'm a tight ass, to be fair. <laughs> um, and there is one more little one to go in there, isn't there? Yeah, a little six mil. Please hold. So from memory, normally, because this guy's got a bull bar, and normally there'd be a bumper here, right? And that bumper would be bolted on with this, with these three points. So obviously I couldn't show you that bit, but I think from memory just, undo the clips of the bolts holding the bumper, and you just drop it down and feed them in. You wouldn't need these three bolts, you'll have factory bolts there to reuse. I'm just putting these in because this guy's got a bull bar. Now if you have a bull bar, what you're gonna need is an M6 bolt. So I've just grabbed an M6 socket head cap screw. So it's not a cap screw, it's just a socket head. Um, 
Or is it a cap screw? Anyways, whatever. M6 socket and cap screw. It's like 16 mil long. It's perfect for it. Right size. Bunnings sell heaps these. You can put a hex bolt in there if you want, but just an M6 by 12 or 16 mil. 16 is probably better. And you'll be away. So, that now brings me to my next piece of this puzzle. I reckon we got to do this. Oh, he's good, eh? I, I should have been a mechanic. See that? First go. Look at me go. Here I was thinking I was the watched up finger tapper. All right. But I also need now, I think I need the 13. Yeah, I do. I'm on righty tidy. Let's go get some. Y'all ain't ready for this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm a glorified finger tapper because that really hit. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that. Look at what it did to myself. Ow. That really hurt, eh? <sighs> Alright, back into it. I'm going to hear all day whinging at my hand. Surely you felt that through the camera, because I felt that in my hand. Like really hurt. Telling you, I'm wasted. Telling you. Oh, pirate camp, go. I can look out. Next week I could be working for, who knows? But maybe not pirate no more, because I'm a wasted talent. Telling you. Who wants to hire me, anyone? To be fair, I'll take any job. <laughs> I'm not fussy. Anyways, that's a wrap on that one, legends. It's that easy. You see here, you've got your frontal protections, you've got your ball bar in there and stuff like that. We're trying to protect your steering arm and your pan art here, right? So basically, if you're coming in for a full boom hit onto the rocks, and this is gonna skim a bit of your diff away as well. If you, if you get unlucky and hit your steering arm and bend it, well, your wheels are gonna be like that and if you're driving down the tracks, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere. So that's the idea of this one, what we're trying to protect here. Um, so yeah, if you're ever wondering about what it is that we're trying to protect, right there, that's it. <laughs> right, that's a wrap on this one. It's that easy, it's about a one, one beer install, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah, about 10 minutes. All right, legends, if you really, really like this product, down below in the description, you're gonna find a link over to our webpage, which is gonna show you this product where you can grab one and show you all the other badass products we do for the Jimny. Now, if you really like this content, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, bash the little notification button, and most of all, if you really, really, really like this content, you might like this one here, or you might like that one there. And one more thing, head over to Pirate Campco TV on YouTube, and you'll see some of our badass adventures. Well, on, ladies, we'll see you next week. Choo! Thanks for all the support, and stay hydrated.